What is it, Skipper, dude? You see booger manners? You're looking, ain't you? It's probably the last time you're going to get to go to the creek, buddy. This is my old dog's keeper. He's gone with me many, many miles. He would be 17 in November. Or well, he will be if he makes it. But uh, the only reason why he's able to get around like this is because he took a, took a baby aspirin this morning. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been able to come here. I've had to carry him over a couple of obstacles. It's pretty tough. Been like one of my own kids. Oh, sometimes I wish I could turn back time. Because when he goes, it's, it's going to be a hard blow. Like I said, he's in pretty bad shape. The only reason why he's getting around is a baby aspirin this morning. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been able to make it this far. Oh, he's been a good old boy. He's been a good boy, ain't you, Skipper? The best dogs I ever had. Killed the squirrels off my neighbor's feeders. The neighbor loved him because he could run across the yard and catch them. He's part Italian Greyhound and part Jack Russell. And them long legs, he could flat move. And he's up till about three years, three, four years ago, and he starts slowing down a little bit. And like I said, he's gone many miles all through these woods here. Oh, he's hopped every every trail around here with me. I didn't hit the woods unless I had Skipper rode in the kayak with me. We made several paddles up and down Sail Creek and around the lake in different places. We loved old Skipper, didn't we, the boy? Old Skipper do. We love that old boy. You don't want to leave, do you? He brings back a lot of memories. Chasing minnows in this creek, or minnows, I should say. I shouldn't use the Tennessee vernacular of minnows. What about it, Skipper? What about it, Booters? Huh? Booters has always been his nickname. Called him the Booter Bear. What about it, Boots? You can't hear very good anymore either. About two years ago, I had him out in the woods and about lost him. He went one way and then he panicked because he was right down below the hill on me and he was running up and down a down a stream that dropped off the side of the mountain trying to find me and I was only 30 feet above him hollering at him and he couldn't hear me. I had to run and chase him down and it, it kind of put me in a panic. So I haven't, haven't taken him on any long trips since then. The longest one I took him on was last year. We were able to do about a mile, mile and a half up the creek. And he was all right then. He was getting around pretty good. But like I said, he's he's not getting around too good now. Except unless you baby aspirin, give him baby aspirin and baby uh, drug him up a little bit. The lower ribs are showing. Hip bones are showing, his whole face is white. You hoping there's manners in that little hole there? You're looking, aren't you? Maybe a couple of days ago there probably was before it started drying out. Who knows? Who knows, boy? You love the creek, don't you? You love the creek. Used to be your favorite place to go. He used to jump up and down on the dash every time I get near here he, because he knew where it was at. And with him, we got a couple of miles. He was back and forth across the dash. I'd have to calm him down just a whining and carrying on. Couldn't wait to get here because this was his favorite place. Next to occasional trips to the dump. He always, that was his big Saturday and they closed the dump down. That took that trip away from him. You looking for those menace, boy? Can you see them? I don't think you can see them too good anymore, can you? They're in there. You just can't see them anymore, can you? Love you, Skipper, dude. 
Watch them, boy. They're in there. Got to keep your eye out for them. Got to keep your eye out for them. Got to keep your eye out for them, boy. They're in there. Where's them men is at, boy? Watch for them. Got to watch them. They'll sneak by on you. You ready to head out of here and go home? You had, you've been down here about 45 minutes or an hour. I think you've probably had about enough. Your mama said don't make you too sore. Your mama said don't make you too sore, okay? So we're going to take you home. We're going to take you home. Say bye, Skipper. Say bye.